About a week ago, I did this video on setting up horticulture containers with repurposed soil and kitchen scraps for a container garden. If you haven't seen the video, go back and watch. Please see the link in the description. These were the containers that were set up using the horticulture method and kitchen scraps. I purchased seedlings from Lowe's because my seedlings haven't matured. But I want to show you how to transplant peppers and tomato seedlings in your containers. First I did a hole deep enough to bury the seedlings whole stem. Especially tomatoes, the whole stem must be buried because tomato stem produces roots on the whole stem. As you can see the whole stem is deep in the soil. I also companion planted onions as a repel for some pests when my basil seedlings are mature. I will add those as well. Go ahead and stick your tomato cage in while they are young seedlings. Once they get to bake, it will be too difficult to do. Once you have planted your tomato seedling deeply in the soil, water your seedlings so that they can settle into their permanent home. That's my dog, Mr. Jupiter. These were the seedlings that are planted into my larger container, raised garden beds. This is my comfrey. I move and transplant them around the garden throughout the season because they are so lush and beautiful. However, this is where they start off. I also move them around because they are great soil conditioners and weed deterrents. I have strawberry planters around my whole garden. That Mr. Jupiter, he is always showing up. These are the seedlings I planted in a raised bed. They are not mature enough yet, but when they are, I will move and transplant them around the garden. These seedlings are turnip greens and big red leaf mustard greens. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, follow, and share. Thanks. For